Welcome guys, bank holiday weekend, Sunday afternoon and we're at the moment we're just sat on the outskirt of the teen estuary. To finish weekend off we just had a, had a nice dinner Yeah. and a pint. Well sun's deserved I reckon. Yeah, well deserved, <laughs> sun's blazing. So England Adventures, James Cook's come down from North Wales to take advantage of the southwest fishing. Now a lot of people come down here and um, fishing can be on and off the tides weren't perfect the weather has played a big part in yeah. it i think we've been very lucky with the winds very. and the sun and um we've had a good weekend mate haven't we oh stonking yeah. absolutely cracking what, what did you think it was going to be like coming down first of all i didn't you? really know what to expect to be honest i, I didn't i genuinely didn't i didn't know you know we've, we've been all over we've been bristol channel yeah. we've been cornwall we've been all over so i mean you know it's been absolutely well mind-blowing really yeah I've learned so much, it's unreal, and I can't wait to take it back to North Wales and uh, and test it out at home. So, We started the adventure off, as you are about to see, and um, our first trip was on the Bristol Channel. Target and uh, Smooth Island, and this is how the adventure went. Okay guys, we're at a mark on the Bristol Channel today, Target and Smooth Island. Joining me for the session, it's James Davis Cook. Come all the way down from North Wales to take advantage of some smooth round action and some southwest action. First species to target is a smooth round. Our aim is to get anything double figured and um, fingers crossed we can get the up out of PB. Long journey he's had down here today. Four and a half hours this morning, got to me about nine ish and uh, we've just literally got up here and um, we've been putting our first cast out now. But um, fingers crossed we can get something. We're using top quality Peter Crab from Seaview Angling. Prime fresh live crab, always the key in targeting this species. Also we've got some squid. Later on in the year we find the squid obviously can uh, pick up the better fish as well. So a little bit windy, flattened off conditions, a little bit of a chop but nothing severe and um, rock bottom rigs onto the reef. Fingers crossed we can get what we're after. I'm gonna go up with James now and check out his bait. It's nothing like I've ever fished before, it's great. They, these shelving you know, areas, it's, you can see why the habitat's here for the crabs and, and for the fish themselves, it's, no, it's fantastic man, amazing. Really so good. first cast going out now, what, um, how, how, what rigs have you got here? Got a little pulley dropper, uh, seven ounce UK hooks, uh, weight, 10 pound line, a uh, rotten bottom, a lead lift, Mark to him, and then 70 pounds straight the way through on a uh, swivel, an Ultima so line. So you're using the Ultima uh, yeah, sand. sand, and Enig then Enigma, cox and roll up. with a 4 cox and raw crab hook, topped off with a, with a small chinny on the on the top, just to uh, hopefully catch that big smooth out. What's your PB? Uh, my personal best at the minute is about seven pound, six, seven pounds, somewhere around there. So uh, yeah, yeah, I think that would be awesome. Right, so on this reef at the minute, as we just said earlier on, I, I'm, I'm open for ten pounds plus. To be fair, an average sort of size for smooth out where we are, um, I would say ten pounds. Right. So if we get one, it's going to be a good one. Yeah. And uh, I, just, I hope you enjoy the fight. <laughs> on this venue, they take on. Yeah. yeah they they can imagine with the tidal current, shallow well. water, strong tide. It's a big tide today as well. But I think we'll struggle with a little bit of weed. Um, just fish through it, that's the only thing we can do. But it's prime time now, mate, really. We've yeah. got here, so um, hopefully, within the first couple of casts, we can see a smooth out. Let's see how they go, eh? Let's we'll see. Big fish. Big fish? Hopefully. Hopefully. One tip's bent right over there, mate, innit? Get on! First venue, first cast with Mr. Andy Webb on the Bristol Channel. And uh, 11 pound, 8 ounce smooth down. Starry, absolutely cracking fish. Took the, uh, oh, 
took the wheat straight up against the current and then uh, came back round and in. Stripping line, honestly, I, I'm oh, tickled pink. My first double figure smooth down. Absolutely made up. So we're getting back now. Mr. Webb. Oh, 
form back Ray, taking on a whole squid bait around 100 yards out and a uh, nice pull over. Unfortunately, not the hound I was after, but a pleasant surprise, second fish of the trip. And um, fingers crossed we can pull a pound out as the tide's starting to flood here now. Get him return to fight another day. And off he goes, second fish of the trip. Fingers crossed we can get another one out now. Well guys, just about to pack up now. And the session one on the Bristol Channel. Mission complete. Um, James first cast, 11 pound eight, starry smooth out on a crab bait. Highlight of the session. Sadly, it didn't pick up as it went down to low water. Uh, tides just changed now. Unfortunately, it's, it's, it's prime time really now, but we've, uh, we were hoping to get it on the drop um, because we've got to shoot off now and meet Craig Pope and head off the Dorset coastline to try and take advantage of some top class selfish. So that's what we're going to do now anyway, but uh, tides started to flood and um, cracking session. I know James has fairly enjoyed it. PB Smooth Elm on his first cast in the southwest. So fingers crossed we can get some into small fish in action. So then. So as you just saw, absolutely fantastic session, wasn't it? Yeah, awesome. Really good. First cast, 11 pound eight, starry smooth round. Made his day, personal best. You don't yeah. get you get big ones up where you are. Yeah, we do. Them. There's a couple of marks up by us. Um I won't say where they are, but no, we do get hounds up to about the 15, 16, but I mean they are special, real special. I think anybody fortunate enough to catch one of them would be absolutely over the so moon. So a double up there is a special fish? Yeah, yeah, I mean that'd be good for, for any yeah. angler really. Yeah. But uh, yeah, no, I mean you do get the... To be honest, on the channel, if you, if especially the venues we were fishing, mm. um, I would say the, the minimum size you're going you're gonna to get is £10. It, as you can see, I never caught one, but <laughs> <laughs> really needed it as well. But it just seemed didn't seem to happen. But no. that, 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 I did. I, I thought we normally with smooth valves when you they come in and you start catching them. You normally, obviously, when they, they they travel in packs, and when you catch one, normally you catch another. But yeah. it was a bit strange. I put that down to I don't know if it was build up to the springs or, or backing off from the springs really. But it, it was not constant with the flow of fish. No. As you saw, we on on the ebb we seemed to it into it straight away. We did, and on yeah. the flood it didn't seem to pick off no um but uh, having said that uh, we will go well, later on session as you're about to see was the opposite way around yeah. but um the next session we went on after that up to de the dorset coastline to yeah. target a soul yeah so we literally left the reef what we just <laughs> on as you just saw jumped in the motor met up with the jedi pope and um this is how we got on well then guys down on chesil beach at this very moment in time just left the bristol channel that with Craig Pope, who's um, at the moment putting a tote bait out on Chesil Beach. He's literally got down here, put a slider straight on, got his feather rod out, and he's got a feather, he's got that called literally within seconds. So he's done that. You've also done the same, James, didn't you? Yep. So these two boys are on the tote mission. I've brought down my uh, STs, so I'm actually just targeting uh, right hand. A couple little pull downs now. I'm on the sole. Nice big slab would do me nicely. Um, yeah, a couple little taps in a minute. Really, really small hooks I'm using. Hooks and raw. I'm using a size six crab hook. Um, just because it's offset, which I've gone through before, the reason why I like to use the offset hooks. And um, fingers crossed, we can get something out here today. High tide is approaching very shortly straight to darkness, but the part of Chesil we're fishing, um, got it. It's, it's quite close to where I, where I go rain, um, but we're on Popey's um, mark today. It's a mark of his which he's had some good, good soul off in the past. So um, fingers crossed it can obviously help us out today, mate. How was, your, how was your trip so far? Awesome. Yeah. Definitely worth an early start. Yeah? Definitely. Definitely, definitely, yeah. First cast, 11 pound bait, story, PB. Yeah, absolutely made it. Definitely. Well, I'm over the moon. Yeah. Still can. Yeah. What do you Lots think of Chesil Beach then? Vast. Yeah. <laughs> it's the first word, vast. 80 mile yeah. long stretch. Anything like you've ever seen? Or? No. No, we've got a storm beach up in North Wales, but nothing like this. No, nothing like this. This goes on for as long yeah. as you can see and as far as that way. Yeah. It's, um, it goes great as well, but it's, uh, <laughs> I think he's going all out for the toe because he's got, <laughs> he's got some live mackerel and he, uh, he's a man on the mission today, man on the mission. But. Yeah. Hopefully we can get someone out. We're targeting the sole as well, and yeah, yeah, I've got soul we'll go through the rigs in a minute. But uh, I'm hoping for a good evening. 
it's going to be a long adventure for us because after we get back from here now, me and James are going to go back to my house, recharge the batteries, recharge the headlights, and we're going to go and uh, fish and mark on the South Devon coastline and start filming the first in the series of specimen I've had. Local top rod, as you'll, you'll um, all get to see, and um, we're quite lucky to get him put his time in to making this series the first episode really. Um, I, think, I know everybody who watches it is going to enjoy it and I know for a, for, for a fact some of the hints and tips you're going to get from this guy about targeting this um, or the type of species we're going to target is going to help you a long way with getting that uh, species you're after. But I've got a couple of little bites in now so hopefully James up on the camera. <laughs> <laughs> right, here you go. Standard so weird really. Up and over, you know, kind of do a little bit different than most people. Put a, bit, a little bit of lead on there between two split shots to pin the bait on the bottom. Some people say it's a big hook, but we're after a big sow, and uh, you do pick up the odd cob when we're fishing for the sow. But um, probably too small, if anything, really, for the sow we're after. Um, basically, up and over, does that. Puts on for the Phoenix lead, brilliant design, nice and streamlined. Bait of choice. Nice fresh black lug. Blue lug ragworm. So seem to pick anything up. I've seen corn crab, prawn, all works. Give a good slap on the deck. Hardens up then. Slide them on. Try and keep your baits nice and neat so they're nice and uh, tidy as well. Uh, try and imitate the real thing as much as possible if it's been washed out of the seabed. Obviously the bait will be pinned on the bottom and uh, hopefully the sole will see it as being nice and natural and gobble it up. What's your uh, PB off this man? Uh, I've had a 3-2 off of here. 3-2? Yeah. Wow. Big fish. Uh, big they fish. fished well last year. And we had a lot of fish. Hopefully this year will be the same. Yeah. We'll find out tonight if Yeah, let's hope so. <laughs> and, uh, but no, it looks great. Really nice. And a loop, long loop as well, so you've got four feet away from your lead. Yeah. So you, you know what? You know you know where near are you with the. Uh, no, that's it. It's nice and good. Your yeah. Lead nice and clear. That's it. I mean, there shouldn't be any snags out there. No, you never no. know. There's lots of tackle out there. Yeah. Oh, great. Let's see what happens. Right. Okay, guys. We've got a setup here and a set So right, we go for this setup first. I'll let you do it, Craig. Do the honours. Alright, I've got the American Glory, also strong. Uh, this one's set up with a live bait running rig. Uh, Diver Sotiga 20, makes it mag. Literally blasts the lead out. Click one of these on, I make these ones myself. Just a non return slider. So, I don't know if you can pick that up, it's a non return slider. So, basically, what he's doing is getting live mackerel first of all as soon as he got here. He actually set this up before he had the live mackerel. So all ready to go and then clip that straight on. Clip on your line, send the macro down, it's still alive. Wire trace? Yeah, I always stick a wire on for a Size? Yeah, oh, I've got an 8 on. He's got an 8 on at the moment and your target is? Taupe when apparently. He's, yeah, he's after a taupe. He, we went fishing a couple of weeks ago after the Bream along Chesil Beach somewhere and um, I had to go home. Great. Right. Nah, well, a little, little, little bounce on his other rod. Anyway, getting a bit carried away. And um, I literally, uh, literally left and um, just as I walked left his missus said something about his rod and I'll let you know. Yeah, yeah the rod screamed off and uh, had it on for a few minutes, reeled in and the fish went even up, it literally just what's, grabbed it over the it, belly. What's it like to hit into a fish that size like on this sort of beach? They just run when you hit them, they yeah. don't they don't knock there. There's nothing they're, to stop them is there, nah, they just go. It. Yeah I mean guys guys are working when they get spooled, nothing to do about it. Go, 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 go. So Hopes are, we've got that one there out, then you've got your sow yeah, rig. Sow rig, um, Diver 7 HT again on the Verret. Um, purely because last year we found the sow at distance. Um, I can cast me best with the Verrets. Probably a bit overkill. Nice rod, sow. nice rod. But you know, I was actually used to get the bait out there. That's it. And, and, um, that rod keeps going off. This is the rod I want you all to see now. We'll go and have a look at this now. This next rod we're about to go through now, I've heard a lot about it over the last few months and um, Craig's kept on on and on about it and he's brought it out today um, and he's targeting the bass on it. We've got a Century Slingshot. Century Slingshot, yeah. Um, you don't see too many of them out in the UK, I think they're targeting more towards the uh, American market really. 
important game rod popping from the shore. Uh, a couple of guys I know use them a lot and uh, they raise them for it looks the like attention. A, it looks like a cart, a cart rod, but I tell you what, he's just, I, I've grabbed the old on the end here and he's pulled down on the tip. But I tell you what, the power in that rod is unbelievable. Unbelievable. They retail at $800, you said. Yeah, about $800, I believe. It's a very, very nice looking blank. Um, I would like, like one of them for the policy, really. Yeah. What, a, what, a, what a bit of kit. So when it's on the way, I think we're doing a bit of policy. Again, we will be, yeah, and um, you've got definitely got the right tool for the job there, haven't you? Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Okay, well, let's go and get some fish in. Where's it going? Little schooly bass. Why are uh, you fishing for solia? Little tiny size four up which has uh, got him right in the corner of the mouth. Very strongly, look. There he is, he's out. Look at that. Prime little schooly bass. I'm gonna get a picture of him now and um, get him safely returned to fight another day. Straight back to the middle. First fish out, hopefully some more to come. Absolutely cracking so. Look at the size of that. We'll get him weighed in a minute, but that's a fine specimen. Look at that. I'll, I'll let Craig go for how we caught it. Yeah, just the, the rig you've seen earlier on, basically. Let's see. The, uh, the you, uh, he said we get one over the top of the tide. He's done it. That is a real big sole. Just so, look, the size of that. That's a slab. We'll get him weighed in. He's got to be well over. He's probably about two and a half pound in ease. Yeah, he's a big fish. Come on, mate. Get a few photos and uh, there we go. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Number two, getting a bit bigger now. Taking the black lug baits, put out there for so. Obviously these baits are pinned right down to the floor. They're getting slightly bigger and um, a bit of bass. We're getting returned now to fight another day. <laughs> 